What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay with the Playback with another video, and today we're gonna be talking about that last episode of Power, y'all. I know y'all been happy when your boy Tommy had came back, but y'all let me know what y'all think about the whole entire episode in the comments. All right, y'all, let's get it. So it starts off with Monette going to go meet the plug Rico. Y'all remember him from ATL? Anyways, with that being said, she goes ahead and pays him the money, and he basically just tried to flirt with Monette. So then Monette messes around and shoot this man. This is the second body that we see Monette get on the show. Hopefully, we can see more. So next, we cut to Kane getting rid of that police officer body. Y'all remember last episode when he tried to kill Kane, but then Kane went ahead and had killed him. Then Lauren tried to talk to Tyreek and ask Tyreek, can she go to court with him? But Tyreek said no, and I'm glad he left her out of this because she don't need to know nothing about this. So now Drew boyfriend talking to the professor about what happened when they had got jumped. And he actually did try to take up for Drew. I like how he didn't really have snitch. He had changed his story around. Now Zeke scary self talking to Miss Carey. I wish Zeke would have never told her nothing in the first place. Then he wouldn't really be in this because now she ended up telling the man stuff and now she causing more problems. Kane goes ahead and visits Drew in the hospital and they get to a little argument. Drew tells him to go ahead and go. So now we back in court. Tyreek over here saying everything saying how he actually saw sex at the club that night that Ghost got killed. Then they came to the agreement that if Tyreek don't say none of that, then Tasha get to go home free. Which I think that they should have been had did all this. It took this long just to get that. So Tasha is finally out of jail and she goes ahead and tells Tyreek that they need to go on a run in case Tommy's trying to come after them, which is true. But Tyreek thinks that Monet gonna protect them. So then we cut to Riley talking to Brayden about how she don't need to trust Tyreek. But good thing Brayden and Tyreek are on good terms right now, so Brayden ain't really trying to hear all that. Then we cut to Zeke Scary still talking to Tyreek about what happened when they had got jumped by the GCG gang, and Tyreek gets information that he really did have need. Then Tyreek go ahead and meet with Diana to tell Diana what Zeke had told her, and then she gets upset because Monette ain't really gonna like what she got to hear. Then Brayden and Tyreek finally meet back up with each other, and he goes ahead and tell her what Riley had told him, but good thing they are on good terms. Like I said, Tyreek ain't doing all that line no more. But then Brayden says to him that he can keep doing a little drug thing for him if Tyreek is leaving. Which Tyreek does really think about that because Brayden is good at that. And then they go ahead and dap and leave. Then we cut to Nosy Jabari who goes ahead and asks Tyreek can he write a book about him as long as he help him with the investigation because Jabari been spying on Tyreek and Jabari already knows that Tyreek has something to do with that body that got caught in the pool. So Tyreek goes ahead and think about it. So then we cut to Monette talking to Tasha about letting Tyreek go because Tasha is trying to go on the run. But then Monette basically says no. Then out of nowhere somebody starts shooting at the bar and uh, at first, we all thought it was Rico. People trying to get back at Monette. But then when Tasha looks out the window, we see Tommy's car riding by. So we all know that it had to be Tommy. Then Tasha goes back to Tyreek and tells Tyreek that they need to leave right now. And Tyreek goes ahead and says that he's a killer. So he's not really scared of Tommy. But really, Tyreek is nowhere near Tommy. I don't know what gave Tyreek the balls to say that he's a killer just like Tommy. But he's really not like Tommy at all. Tyreek has a long way to go to be Tommy. Then we cut to Monette going ahead to go visit Lorenzo in jail. And as of right now, she still thinks that it's Rico people trying to get back at her so she said that it's ready for war but then Lorenzo goes ahead and said that they need Kane which I really do think that they really do need Kane because he does bring force do y'all think Monette and Kane could ever get back cool so anyway she goes ahead and go visit Kane and they basically get into an argument after Kane tells her that he went ahead and had killed that cop then we cut to Tariq meeting up with Tommy texting Jabari that he's down with the plan then we see Tommy coming out of Cash's house which is I remember him Lakeisha's son and Tariq tells Tommy that he has a plan for him so then they cut to Tasa driving and trying to set up Tommy because they know that Tommy gonna be coming after her and they set up a high speed chase and then they get into a high speed chase with Tommy. Tommy car ends up blowing up. So they're not a case for the hunt of Tommy is now over. So Tariq meets up with Jabari so Jabari can give Tariq the money in exchange. He had the permission to go write that book on him. Then out of nowhere, Kane just comes out of nowhere and then just shoots Jabari in the chest, wounding him. And then him and Tariq have a conversation about the whole Monet thing because you already know that Kane did not like Tariq. So Tariq convinces Kane to let Kane give him the gun so he can go ahead and shoot Jabari himself. So then Tariq goes ahead and off Jabari. This is now Tariq's third body so far. I would love to know who his next body going to be. So now everybody thinks that Tommy is dead now because of the what happened earlier so then him and Tyree go ahead and talk on the phone and Tommy says thanks to Tyree and this is the last goodbye that Tyree gives to Tommy so far so now Tasha and Tyree are both at Raina and Ghost's grave and then Tyree goes ahead and tells Tasha that he got her into witness protection early so then Tasha gets picked up by the police and leaves without even knowing Tommy was right there behind him get ready to off Tasha and I am not going to lie I thought Tommy was gonna kill Tasha but then as soon as Tasha and the police leaves Tommy comes out to Tyree to go kill Tyree because he thinks that Tyree still got something planned against 
Tommy. But then out of nowhere, Monet goes ahead and pulls out a gun on Tommy and makes Tommy drop the ring and the gun. At first, when I thought Tommy saw Monet, I thought he was going to recognize her from back in the day. So I guess that Monet and Tommy do not have no type of relationship towards each other. I guess they do not know each other. But let's hope that he does know something about Lorenzo. So then they go ahead and send Tommy on his way and take his gun. And then Monet and Tyreek go ahead and get in the car and drive off. And that is the end of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1 finale. Now, what y'all think going to happen on next season? When y'all think next season might come out? I already know y'all went ahead and saw that music video for that Power Book 3. Hopefully, that is the theme song for Power Book 3 because that shit is nice for real, though. I like how they had Italy chopping in that. And as y'all can see, they actually showed some clips from Power Book 3 in there. But y'all let me know what y'all think about Power Book 2 Season 2, though. And y'all let me know any other episode breakdowns and TV show breakdowns and trailer breakdowns that y'all want me to do. And just anything in general that y'all want me to talk about. Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share my videos. Alright, y'all. Peace.